Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how to create a doodle animation to live video inside Create Studio Pro just like this one. Make sure to watch this video till the end to help the video to be pushed by Google and get to more people who might need to see this tutorial. This is Victor with a new Create Studio Pro tutorial. As I mentioned, today I will be demonstrating how to make a doodle sketch video to live action. I'll be taking you through the steps of making one and I'll also point some free online tools to help you with the process. Okay, so to create this wonderful effect from Doodle Sketch to live video, let's go here to my media files where I already have imported the video. So I just drag and drop the video to the canvas. Let's play to see how it looks. Okay, this looks very nice. What I want to do next is to find a frame that I want to take a snapshot from the video. So I will slowly go to find a wonderful frame of this plane. So I will need it to be somewhere right here. Something to be very nice, edges of the plane to be quite good and visible. You can do your own fine tune of the image depending on what video you might want to do. So I, I will stick with this frame. So I will just go and right click here and take a snapshot and automatically I will have it imported here in my media files. So before I will just take it and go further, I just want to close this and let's go here to publish, choose image, I will choose a JPEG, quality 100%, I will select my, and let's say plane, okay, put it here in downloads and save. Okay, I already have it saved. Now, in order to create my doodle sketch part of the video, I want to go here to this online rapid sizer, uh, rapid resizer free picture stencil maker. I will leave a link in the description below for you to check it out. So I will select my image that I just saved right here and instantly it's making a stencil picture and right here I have these controls to slide between how dark or white I want my sketch to be and I can also adjust how hard or soft the outline of the drawing lines will be for my project okay so my plain edge would be more visible if I want to be sharp you can see more details right here and all I have to do is go here and download save to your computer and it's already saved in my computer okay so back to create studio I go here import and I have here my design and I have it right here in my media files. So I'll take this video a little bit on the side. I'll get my sketch drawing right here. Okay, let's close this. It's not a very, very good image, but it will do. So the next thing I would want to do is to create a doodle effect where I'll have a doodle hand to draw the plane outline. Okay, so I'll just go here to effects, take this doodle effect, bring it here to my drawing, 
and I'll open, let's close this one first. I'll open Doodle settings and I will choose to go with manual path. So edit path right here. And you can see the default Doodle path is drawing the entire canvas because this default path is applied for the whole image and I don't want that. So I clear path and I'll start by adding points for my drawing path and I think I will just start from the nose of the plane right here. So I click here and add my first point for my drawing path and then I click right here and you can see that the draw size is way too big. So I'll just have to drag here, okay, like this and zoom in and make it even smaller. You can adjust, okay, like this. And now I go on and continue with my line. So I know it's a little bit tedious and you have a little bit of work to do to go all around the plane lines, but of course, for amazing outcome of your videos, you need to do some work. So I will just go fast forward this editing of my path and then I'll come back right after I finish. So I pretty much covered everything to set my own path for the doodle effect to draw my plane. I only did the outline of the plane. I didn't want to go through all the lines in the stencil picture. Normally I would, but for this demonstration, for you to get the idea, I believe this will do. Okay, so now that I have it here, one thing I need to do just to make sure that everything is all right, I just need to expand this to the entire canvas like this, okay? Because I forgot to do that, okay? So now what I need to do is to see how it's working. Let's see. Okay, it's quite fast. Let's also extend the doodle effect right here. And what we need is a background for this. So I'll take a shape and expand this to fill the whole canvas. I'll change this to white. Okay, and let's bring this right here. Okay, now we have the drawing hand going to the plane outline. And let's see once again, it's way, way too fast. I want the drawing hand to go much slower. So I need to go here and adjust the shaking. And I just tried this many times and I found out that one would be just wonderful for me. And the drawing size will stay like this, but I want to change the hand. And I want to go, let's say, I don't know, maybe this one. Okay, this is very nice. This is like a hand is drawing with a pencil. Wonderful. Okay, now that I have this, what I need to do is to bring right here that screenshot of the plane that I just took earlier. Okay, so this is the screenshot. I'll bring it here. Okay, like this. And let's expand this to fill the whole canvas. And I'll bring it right here under. Actually, I get this one here and I'll get this one here, okay? So now to be able to match everything together, I'll just reduce the opacity for the sketch image to see it's just perfectly aligned. See? Okay, so I don't need anything else to do, then group this image, this drawing image, I will group it and add a fade out, fade out, okay. So now I have my hand drawing and it's fading out, but what I need to do is extend this a little bit 
the fade out needs to be much slower. Okay, I extend here inside the group and then back to the main timeline. Okay, so that's perfect. So what I need to do is actually I'll select this image and the background and group it together. And now what I want to do is to set a fade out animation. I go here, select out, fade and fade out. Linear is what I need, okay. So now let's see how it looks. Maybe I need to go in and open the group. I need to open this one as well and give it a little bit of time, like one second after the hand is finishing drawing. So then it will fade out. So to do that, I just extend it and background. And now let's see here. Okay, so this is longer, see? And now the hand is finishing here. Okay. And we play this to see how it's working. Wonderful. And I only need one second from here to here for this still image to, to stay. And then my plane will continue continue flying. Let's see how this will look. Of course, what we want to do is to match this image with my plain instance where I took the screenshot. And that would be right here. And I'll cut this, bring it right here under. I'll take this one and reduce the opacity to see if it match if it matches my my video. So right here. It's a little bit tricky to to get this right because here is where my plane ends and you need to make sure is this the exact so right here okay so i'll extend okay and now i will cut this right here okay And now let's bring the opacity all the way back to 100 and let's see if it's it's perfect. Well, bring it back to the beginning and give it a play. The instance though, the still image is too long as a time so I need to make it shorter so I have it a second is too much let's make it half a second because it's staying too long and then I take it here and let's see once again I'll play from here once again and now it's perfect now, to get this video more captivating, of course we need a soundtrack to go with it. And I have here a background music that I like, this one. So I'll just take this here and I'll bring it here on my canvas. Okay. Of course, to make a better impression, you need to adjust the music with what's happening on the screen. 
So I'll have this I have this here this wave right here this wave right here I want to match it with this instance where my plane is starting to move where my plane is taking live action okay okay like this I'm adjusting the song track right there okay let's see this time how it looks So it's just perfect. Okay, now what I need to do next is to have a fade in for my music because it's kind of rough. So let's take one second and two seconds for the fade out. Okay, fade out right here. I'll cut this, delete the extra segment and let's have it a last look So the music is matching perfectly, everything is matching perfectly, you just need to take your time to be creative, don't rush, because when you do a tedious work, when you take an extra step to create more, like when I did the path for the drawing hand, you just need to take your time, is what I like to do. So I take my time, I try to be more uh, detailed and I get wonderful results. So this is what I advise you to do, to take your time, not get in a rush and with this you will get wonderful results. So this technique, taking a sketch image to live video is wonderful for promoting, I don't know, anything like this video with the Airbus is just a wonderful promotion. So I hope you like this. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting and helpful, then definitely make sure to leave me a like, give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe button that allows these videos to get seen by more people. Google likes to see that you're enjoying it. Also, don't forget to check out my other video tutorials. And if you have any thoughts, or would like to suggest a new topic for my next tutorial, please feel free to leave a comment in the box below. I'd love to hear what you think.